Do you want some free games? Do you want them to be tried and tested so you can get the most out of your VR headset? From Minecraft in VR to Gorilla Tag, these are some of the most popular free VR games available for the Oculus Quest 2 and Meta Quest 3. Now check the description for the links, but let's go! This video is sponsored by VR Wave. VR Wave make incredible prescription lenses for VR headsets, along with selling some fantastic accessories like head straps, face covers, and many more. As of right now, you can buy the Meta Quest 3 prescription lenses that are specifically designed to stop you from scratching the inside lens of the headset using a special magnetic design. Even if you have perfect vision, you can get the prescription lenses to filter out blue light. And the best part is, shipping is worldwide, so no matter where you are in the world, you can get your hands on their amazing product. That's www.vr-wave.store or head down in the description and we'll put a link. So let's start with a free game you would definitely have heard of, and that is Gorilla Tag. But just for those who are living under a shiny rock, it's a monkey oriented tag game with mini games in our purchases and racist kids i mean present young children it's definitely up there as one of if not the most popular quest game and it's one i thoroughly enjoy myself oh and check out this hilarious girl attack song i posted on my channel it's absolutely great i promise so let's move on to one of if not the most popular oculus quest 2 game and that's roblox vr we've waited for roblox vr to come to the quest natively for a long time and so far it doesn't seem to have disappointed now this gives you access to a huge library of VR games built into Roblox like VR Islands, Roblox VR Hands and many many more all on the Oculus Quest 2 and 3 natively. And now I am curious and I want to know your honest opinion. Do you think Roblox VR is more popular than Gorilla Tag? Let me know down in the comment section below. So next up we have Questcraft. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, you have to pay for Java Edition, so it's not free. Well, Questcraft as an app is free, and if you don't have Java by now, then I can't really help you. But effectively, Questcraft is a VR port of Minecraft Java that is exactly like the OG game just in VR. It isn't available on the Quest 3 yet, but that's looking to change soon. But as usual, anything to do with Minecraft is always seriously popular, so there's no surprise that this is too. So next up, we have Attack on Quest, which is Attack on Titan in VR, with all the bells and whistles you would expect. This free side quest game sees you take out large titans with ODM gear, brutal kills, and online multiplayer, which adds a whole host of chaos to the game. It's no wonder why this is a hugely popular VR game. Next up, we have the very elusive Physics Playground. Why is it elusive? Well, because people can't seem to find it, despite the fact it's on side quests and linked to itch.io. Well, let me tell you about it anyway. Physics Playground was released a while back as a kind of bone lab slash bone work style game where you can use real physics to attack dummies and traverse a small sandbox with no story or goals. Now, this game spawned a very similar game by the name of Sports Mode, which is not free, but you can still get hold of this absolute gem for free by itch.io. Or if you like, you can go to my Discord where you can download the APK directly there with a the link being in the description. Next up on our list then is V Speedway, which is a really popular free VR racing game that offers various modes like single race, time attack and free ride. The great thing about this game and why I actually really uh, enjoy it is the ability to choose which side of the vehicle you drive on while sitting in the car with all the working parts like mirrors and steering wheels. And it's nice to see a bit of variation on this list and a driving game that's actually free and worth playing. Jump scares are a staple of the next game on this list, and that's Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location VR. This is a fan-made port of the game with the same name that sees you as a nighttime technician who goes against evil animatronics. We all know Five Nights at Freddy's, and this is actually a really fun, popular free game that I would recommend, especially if you're looking for a free alternative to help Wanted 1 and 2. Next then is AMXR, which people describe as a less fleshed out version of Pavlov. This is a military style shooter with multiple weapons, online play, bot support, and the ability to play over LAN. I quite enjoyed this game, but unless you have a few friends to buddy up with, there are very little players actually playing this game, or at least that's what I came across. But that still doesn't take away from the popularity of this game and how fun it is, especially considering it is free. Next in line is Doom Free Quest, which is the VR port of the very popular and, I must say, honestly great game Doom Free. You must shoot demons, aliens, or whatever the hell they are this time around, and you can do it from the comfort of your VR headset while taking advantage of the touch controllers and locomotion of the Quest 2 and 3. It's great to see Doom Free brought back to a different audience in a different medium. Now we have yet another VR port 
of a classic PC game. This time is the Lambda 1 VR port of Half-Life. Now, obviously, if you have a PC, you have access to Half-Life Alex, but this game allows you to visit the OG game that started the Half-Life franchise, while once again taking advantage of the touch controls offered by the Oculus Quest 2 and Meta Quest 3. Grinding into our next spot is Hyperdash. This is a fast-paced, colorful, team-based VR shooter offering various game modes where players can dash, sprint, and grind rails across arenas to secure objectives. You can play with bots on dedicated servers with customizable controls, and I'm not sure how many people still play this game, but it's free to find out, so why not? Next up, we have another VR port of a Doom game, and that's Quest Z Doom. Now, this is exactly as you'd expect, except for the fact it's the original Doom recreated in virtual reality on the Oculus Quest 2 and 3. Now, there isn't much else to say, so we're just going to get straight on to the next. Next up, we have Hybo, which is quite similar to the previous mentioned Hyperdash in the sense that it's a multiplayer VR shooter. It's just in this game, you are rocking a bow and arrow as your main weapon. But we aren't going to linger on this any more than we need to, so let's get straight on to the next one. Next up, we have Granny. No, she isn't visiting my house. I am talking about the game Granny VR. Now, it seems that VR ports have been a huge part of this list, and this game is no different. Granny is a crazy old lady who locks you in her house, and you must find all the items to escape her grasp. It's just this time you'll be more immersed than ever as you can now play in virtual reality. Now the graphics aren't the best, but if you are a fan of Granny or just like the fact you don't have to pay for it, then it could definitely be worth a try. Next up then is Gym Class Basketball. This is a fantastic free VR basketball and sports game with NBA licensed teams, courts and apparel, along with realistic physics and multiplayer. You can also customize your avatars or create custom courts for private rooms. It's basically the best basketball game out there and possibly the best sports game out there, made better by the fact you don't pay a penny for it. So in our next one is where practical skill meets VR game. We have the game VR Tuos, which is a VR piano learning game that allows you to learn piano in real life. It's far more engaging than just watching YouTube tutorials and learning notes and chords, as you can use the mixed reality to see what notes are next. And all that is required is some simple calibration. So next we have Friday Night Funkin' in VR. Now I did a tutorial on how to install this. Uh, you can check that at the end of this video. But, I mean, Friday Night Funkin' is pretty much dead as of this point. I don't really hear anything about it anymore. But it is still the option to play in VR with full VR support. So go check it out if you want. It doesn't cost a thing to try. So next up, all we have left to do is for you to click on one of the videos here or one of the videos here. There are some great videos there, guys. What did you think of this video here? Is Gorilla Tag or Roblox the best and most popular game? Let me know down in the comment section below and let me know if it's any games that I did miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.